Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at Kyle Busch's 2023 Gateway Race, or Gateway Internet, what is it called now? It's Worldwide Technology Raceway, but it's Gateway something. Anyway, we all know where we're talking, it's just Gateway. Anyway, this is Kyle Busch's win from St. Louis at Worldwide Technology Raceway, formerly known as Gateway. Okay, we got all that out of the way. Now, let's go ahead and get into it. So, uh, let's slide the car out of the way. We're going to take a look at the box. we got the NASCAR 75th anniversary logo there. Standard Elite box. 100 and, uh, sorry, one of 537 that were made. And it even says there, Gateway Wind. So, what do you know? Doesn't even have the right name there. Whatever, we're fine. Uh, okay, so that's those items. We do have a couple of things that came with this car. Uh, the first of which being the Race Wind sticker. Same for all cup cars. Uh, you can see the silver... Uh, checkered flag or the white checkered flag with the NASCAR 75th anniversary logo. We go around to the back. Here you can see the Kyle Busch Enjoy Illinois 300 winner, June 4th, 2023 in Madison, Illinois. Go around to the back side. Time of the race, 3 hours, 28 minutes, and 16 seconds. Started on the pole, 243 laps, 11 cautions for 67 laps, and he led 121 laps, winning by half a second. So good race for Kyle Busch. Also, we do have another thing added to this, which I will be pulling out of its package now. This is the Enjoy Illinois 300 pin. Uh, and this one I was I don't mind pulling out of the package because this one's going with this car, which is uh, right here. So you can see the Enjoy Illinois 300 pin. Uh, I think last year's was personally better in my opinion, but it's not a bad pin nonetheless. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this car because there's a couple of things to look at here. First of which, you'll see we got our number eight. We've got three Chi on the car. First time um, that we've gotten Kyle Busch in victory lane with that sponsor. Uh, I believe both of the wins last year, or two of the three wins from Reddick last year were in that. Uh, but yeah, we've got 3 Chi there. Uh, we also have the confetti there um, down the side. You can also notice we've got confetti all over the windshield, all over the rear window, and even the roof is pretty full of confetti. Uh, but it's very colorful, so I'll give them that. You can see we've got 3 Chi on the front. Confetti all over the splitter. Um, you can barely tell it's 3 Chi on the front, but yes, it's covered in confetti. Over to the right side, we got 3 Chi down the side. Look at the confetti all down here. There's some confetti in the wheels. There's a lot down the base of the rocker or the this box down here. Uh, you can see tons of it packed in there. Like I said, you can't even read through the rear window. The DIN number is actually through the uh, through the side here, and I think it's 307 is the DIN number on this one. We got Lenovo here, small smudge there. Um, and then I don't actually see that much rubber buildup on the right front, so it is pretty clean too, which is unfortunate because uh, race detail is always fun. Uh, we got 3G here on the back along with our diffuser. We do have an opening trunk because this is the Elite, so that trunk does open up. Not an Elite Premier. We won't have those for a little bit yet. Uh, there's the uh, roof flaps opening there. And then we've got 3G and the uh, little leaf there. Uh, so the, yeah, the Candyman became the adult Candyman very quickly. Uh, we got our three wins because he won at Fontana, and then he won again at Talladega, and then again at Gateway. So those are his three wins of last year. Um, but yeah, really good looking car. Now I'm going to slide this one off to the side so we can pull one more car in here real quick. This is an alternate finish on this car. I picked it up in chrome just to see if chrome got any better. It doesn't look terrible. You can see the chrome. Uh, the, anything that was black is now a very shiny gray. Uh, it's still not truly chrome, and this is kind of why I wanted to check it. I think Liquid or Galaxy might have been the better finish for this car. Um, but chrome is not a bad finish by any means. So chrome, you can see, very shiny. Uh, definitely adds a little bit of uh, shimmer to this car. But yeah, not a true chrome like what we've uh, seen in the past where you got a, a true mirror-ish mirror-like effect on it. So um, does it look bad? No, not at all. It looks pretty good still. Um, but yeah, it's it's not quite chrome. So I think Galaxy will probably be the preferred finish on this car. You can see it's got all the same detail. This is actually an ARC color chrome. But um, yeah, if you're looking for the best special finish, it's probably going to be Galaxy. So if you're looking for a color chrome ARC, you can check it out. Uh, this will be over on the eBay page uh, because my pay, my website is strictly for standard version or standard finished raced version. So this one will head over to the eBay page here uh, after the video. So uh, anyway, guys, that will pretty much wrap up this diecast review. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, turn on the bell and subscribe for more NASCAR diecast content. And tune in on Sunday for the Daytona 500 where we'll have a little watch party going on um, for the first race of the year. So anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one.